So I was staring at the wall earlier today thinking about migrating tree frogs and wait, I'm sorry. I could be wrong here, but I think I smell some smoke and that can only mean two things. One, my kids have started another fire in the playroom, but more likely it's time for Yummer. Welcome to the burn zone. We got a lot of topics to sizzle through, but not a lot of time. Over here is the burner. Let's turn on the gas and load her up. Oh, Simon says, ouch. First up, jigsaw puzzles. Jigsaw puzzles, you're like the condom of the hobby world. I can only use you once, and then I have to throw you away. But hey, who doesn't love spending dozens of excruciating hours painstakingly solving the mystery of what that picture in the front of the box would look like if it were slightly bigger and missing a few pieces? Jigsaw puzzles, try putting this together. Yubbert! Zoom graduations, you're about as much fun as a wedding at the DMV. Look, if I didn't want to wear pants to graduation, I would have gone to UMass. Sideburn UMass. Sideburn. Graduations are not meant to be held in front of a computer at home. They're meant to be held outside in the sweltering humidity, wearing a cheap black robe that heats up to 150 degrees while the fourth lead from The Mentalist tells you to follow your dreams. Zoom graduations, don't forget to wear sunscreen because yubbert! Home haircuts. Step aside the Rachel. 2020 is all about the Chuck Todd. Sideburn Chuck Todd. Everybody's home haircut looks like their stylist slipped on a banana peel mid-stroke. Also, stop saying it's just hair, it'll grow back. Try telling that to Howie Mandel. Also, I tip my cap, Howie. You were way ahead of the curve on germs. Fist bump. Home haircuts, snip this, you burn. Front-facing celebrity videos. Somebody needs to throw an ice bucket challenge all over this trend, but thank you for raising awareness about your total lack of self-awareness. These videos answer the question, what could be less helpful than a GOP congressman tweeting thoughts and prayers? Also, not to make too big a deal about it, but how come nobody asked me to be in one? I'm a cool guy. I like to sing. I'd be good. Trust me. Watch. It hurts my feelings when you don't ask me to be in your video. Yeah, Bert. Classic novels. Hey, classic novels. Did you really think I was going to read you? The only reason people are buying you during the quarantine is so we have something impressive to put on the shelves behind us during TV appearances. It was the best of times and the worst of times. If you didn't have murder hornets, it wasn't the worst of times. If I wanted some pride and prejudice, I'd just listen to a Trump speech. Easy bird. And yeah, I have a great expectation. I'm going to read two pages, chuck it across the room, and binge the new season of Queer Eye again. Plus, if I wanted to spend two years reading something, I'd ask for a menu at a Greek diner off the Jersey Turnpike. Hyper-specific burn. I'll take the stuffed grape leaf slumber pancakes, please. Classic novels, you long, you old, and you burnt. Homeschooling, huh? Homeschooling. The only way to guarantee your kids get a solid 45 minutes of education a day. Well, actually, when you subtract the time it takes to log on and log off, it's more like 35 minutes. And then, oh my God, all the times you have to Close the Zoom app when your Wi-Fi free. It's, it's like 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes. It's five minutes. Five minutes. And now your kids know that you top out at a fifth grade math level. There's only so many times I can say, well, if I told you the answer, that'd be cheating without sounding suspicious. Kids, you're going to learn this eventually, so I might as well tell you now. You will never, never need to know what time two trains going different speeds will enter a station. All train schedules are posted online. It's just not a life skill you need. You want a train tip you can use? Don't carry a coffee down the aisle of a moving a Sella Amtrak train. Also homeschooling, my boys are missing out so much by not being around their classmates. Now who's gonna taunt them by saying, isn't your dad that snowflake cuck soy boy from TV? Well, my wife still says it, but at this point nobody hears her. It's like white noise. Homeschooling, time to subtract yourself because you burnt. Hey, funny Zoom backgrounds. Sure, you were a blast for that first week, but you know, enough already. We know the inside of your house looks like act one of a hoarder's episode, just own it. Do you know what a funny Zoom background really says? I don't want coworkers to see my Fight Club poster. Funny Zoom backgrounds are just a consolation prize for coworkers who can no longer quote Family Guy in the break room. <laughs> hey, funny Zoom backgrounds. Yabert! The Spanish flu of 1918. It's finally time to burn your ass. We used to think you were the worst virus the world would ever see until Corona came along. You're the George W. Bush of pandemics. How the hell? How the hell were they not social distancing in 1918? Everyone knew like four people and married their cousin. And why were you so deadly anyway? What's the deal, Spanish flu? Was it because you were served tapas style on small shared plates? You know, it actually didn't originate in Spain. Yeah, I mean, I know that, but what do you care? Are you from Spain? No, I did a semester abroad in Barcelona. 
The Spanish flu of 1918. Put your mask on. Yeah, Bert. Whoa! <laughs> that sound means things are really cooking up, which means it's time for our speed round, the blaze. Things we realize we don't need during quarantine edition. Belts, you're suspended. Ya blaze! Alarm clock, finally someone to tell me when it's time to move from the bed to the couch. Ya blaze! Three meals a day? I'm having one meal a day. It starts at 8 a.m. and it ends at midnight. Ya blaze! Denim, more like don't need them. Ya blaze! Shaving, are you me in high school because nobody wants to do you? Ya blaze! Also, me blaze! That was me blazed, but fast. Audiences, nobody missed your silent reaction to my terrible denim joke. Yeah, blazed. People who have never had a day of hardship in their life, but caption Instagram pics with a little bit of normalcy and all the craziness. Oh, that buzzer means we've run out of time. This has been Ya Burnt. What is this? <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. What do you have to say for yourself? Ya Burnt. That's right. We have had for 100 days fireman costumes that we've been waiting for you burnt to use. And now that moment has come. Axel, do you want to say it too? What do you want to say, Axel? That was a really good you burn, Axel. We'll be right back with more late night.